Hi guys, my name is Mary and I am making my first video for It Could Be Worse vlog. I know I've wrote about it a few times, my Crohn's Disease Emergency Kit and Essentials Kit, but I really wanted to go through each of my items that I bring in my emergency kit and really explain why I find these items to be essential and why I bring them with me. Um, I keep a big large Tupperware in my car at all times and then I have a few extra mini kits that I keep with me just for easier access and carrying them around. And um, so I guess I'll get started on what I keep in there. First thing I bring with me is medication. You never know when you're gonna need an extra dose or if you're not gonna be able to make it home or emergencies happen. So I actually keep two kinds of medications with me. I keep a full week supply and then I also keep a daily supply. So this is one dose and this would be for all week. And with each of these, I keep a full medication list printed out from the VA website for all my meds that I'm using at the moment. Um, my next item I keep is a stool emergency kit um, or a stool collection kit. Um, I suffer from a lot of bleeding with my Crohn's disease and so being able to actually take a sample and bring a sample to my doctor, I can just call her and bring her a gift. Um, so I try to bring that. It comes with gloves, a scoop, and a little container so you can send it to your doctor. Um, I kind of find this essential to just keep in the car because sometimes they're going to need a stool sample and you don't want to have to go to the doctor just to get the kit and then go home and do your business. Um, I also keep with me an extra little emergency emergency kit. This kit is used whenever there could be an accident. I've had a few accidents. I've had one in the Salvation Army where I was in the bathroom crying because I had literally like shit myself. Um, so that's when I really started bringing items with me because I never know when my emergency is going to happen with my Crohn's. In my kit, I keep baby wipes because, well, you kind of need them when you have a bathroom disease. And I keep a mask just because you never know if you're sick or you're going to be around somebody that's sick. I keep an extra spare of underwear with me because, well, you need that if you're going to have an accident on yourself. I don't prefer diapers, so I bring extra pads with me just in case. I bring hand sanitizer, gloves, because these are kind of essential when you're having to clean up a mess. I use the Ziploc bag to hold all of my soiled items after I'm using them, but I also bring with me a roll of uh, little doggy poopy bags because they are kind of the perfect size to just throw in. I keep butt lotion to go with my baby wipes in case there's no toilet paper or baby wipes around. And then I also keep perfume because nothing is worse than spraying the bathroom spray and it ended up smelling like citrus that turns into citrus. So the next items I keep with me is I always have at least a bottle of water. It helps when you're taking your meds. I keep, other than the one face mask I have, I have three more. They double as headbands. I can cover my whole face. Um, I hate going to the doctor and being around the sick people, but um, I'm one of those sick people, and so I kind of need to protect myself from getting the flu and things like that. Um, I get a lot of joint pain with my Crohn's disease, so my doctors at the rheumatology at least have suggested that I at least keep some braces with me for my joints. I have full ones for my full wrist, and then I have ones to kind of mobilize my thumbs. Those have been the ones causing me the most problems, so I keep at least two of those. I also keep a full change of clothes, pants, a hoodie... I keep my Cure for IBD t-shirt, more underwear, an extra tank top, and then extra stuff. I never know when I'm going to need it, and I think my phone just got a notification. And I keep everything else. In this Tupperware, I have so many items that I keep with me. And also in my kit, I keep my It Can't Wait card. According to Allie's Law in certain states... You can't be denied use of the employee bathroom if that's the only bathroom available. So you want to keep your Allie's Law I Can't Wait card. Um, I have provided a couple links to that in a few of my Crohn's Emergency Kit website links. So look on that if you need that. Everything. Like just things you might need. But uh, I would definitely keep a little Ziploc baggie full of emergency items that you might need because... Well, when you have a Crohn's emergency, it's not going to be fun to not have anything. But I thank you for the time and for listening to me. Um, thanks.